The doctor will see you now. So you're looking for a great card game. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Today's prescription is called Shanghai Rummy. And the learning level for this game is moderate. And what you will need to play this game are two deck of cards. And this game requires a minimum of three players. But you can play with as many as you want, but we highly recommend no more than six. Please note, two deck of cards is required for three players. Add an additional deck for every two players joining after that. There are two very important things to know in this game. A set and a run. A set. A set will always be a three of a kind. A run. A run will be cards in consecutive order, and they must be of the same suit. The run starts and ends with an ace. The two. The two is wild, and the suit does not matter for a two. You are only allowed to have one two in a set, unless you are using three twos. And in a run, you are only allowed to have half of the natural cards. So for example, in a run of four, you can have two twos. In a run of seven, three twos. And a run of ten, five twos. The only time you can have more than half of the twos in a run is when you're using them naturally like this run here. Keep in mind that this is not a run because you are not allowed to wrap around. The object of the game is to have the lowest score after 10 rounds. Step 1. Deal out 11 cards to every player. Step 2. Set the deck in the middle and flip over the top card. And the person to the left of the dealer will go first. Step 3. There are 10 different rounds for this game, and here they are. Round 1. Two sets of three. Round two, one set of three, one run of four. Round three, two runs of four. Round four, three sets of three. Round five, one set of three and one run of seven. Round six, two sets of three and a run of five. Round seven, three runs of four. Round eight, one set of three and one run of ten. Round nine, one run of five and three sets of three. Round ten. Three runs of five. Step four. Your turn starts when you pick up a card from the top card of the discard pile or a card from the draw pile. Determine if this card helps you. Keep it if it does or discard it if it doesn't. Your turn is over once you discard. Let's say you use a card and you now have what you need for the round. Place the cards on the table. This is called going down. Now you must try to get rid of the cards in your hands by either playing on your own cards or other cards on the table. Once you are done playing all your cards, simply discard to end your turn. If there are no other cards on the table when you go down, then you simply must wait for other players to go down before you can lay down any of your cards. Once again, your turn ends once you discard a card. Step 5. Any card under the top of the discard pile is considered a dead card. You cannot touch these anymore, even if they become exposed again. Step 6. Fine. Let's say that a player discards something you need, but it is not your turn. You are allowed to buy. If none of the players ahead of you want it, then it is yours to take, but you must take a penalty card with it. You are only allowed to buy three times per round, and you'll know you bought three times if you have a total of 17 cards in your hand. And buying doesn't mean it's your turn, so you are not allowed to go down. You'll have to wait your turn. Let's say you want to buy, but someone in front of you wants the card you're buying. They will get the card. Step 7. Once you go down, the object is to get rid of the cards in your hands because those are the points that will count against you. At this point, you are no longer going for another run or another set. You are only trying to get rid of the cards in your hand. You are allowed to replace the two only in a run if you have the card that the two is replacing. You are never allowed to replace the two in a set. Now you can use the two to your advantage. And an important note is to know that you are only allowed to play off other people's cards once you have gone down. If you have not gone down, then you are not allowed to play off other people's cards. The round is over once a player gets rid of all the cards in their hand. This is called going out. 
And an important note, you must have a discard to go out. You cannot go out without a discard. Once the round is over, everyone must count the cards they have in their hands. The cards on the table do not count. Step 8. Scoring. 3 through 9 are worth 5 points. 10 through king are worth 10. And aces and twos are worth 20 points each. Add up your points with each passing round. Step 9. Gather the cards, rotate the dealer, and everyone will get ready for round 2. And now here's your stronger dose. Punish the person that scored the most points for the round. Make them do a dare, take a shot, or remove an article of clothing. Now let's quickly recap the steps and even go through the process of the game. Step 1. Deal 11 cards to every player. Step 2. Place the deck in the middle and flip over the top card. Step 3. Achieve the goal of the round. For this round, we are looking for two sets of three. For this round, you got lucky. We got the two sets of three already. The player to the left of the dealer will go first. Remember, the turn starts when somebody picks up a card, and the turn ends when somebody discards a card. Right now, the player to your right has their two sets of three, so they are going down. Now they are trying to get rid of their cards. Since they have an extra two, they are getting rid of it under their aces. They have no more cards to play, so they got rid of their queen. Now the player across from you is saying that they want to buy the card. Take a look at your hand and determine if you want it. You don't want the card, so you're allowing them to buy it. The player to your left doesn't want it, so they're allowing them to buy it as well. The person now takes the card with the penalty card. It is not their turn. It is now your turn. Remember, you are not allowed to take the 5 because it was already covered by the queen earlier, so you have to take from the draw pile. Take a look to see if this helps you. And apparently it does. Now you can go down. Go ahead and put down your two sets of three. And now you're trying to get rid of your cards by playing off of other players. You have no other moves, so get rid of the highest card possible, which is a queen right now, worth 10 points. The player across from you wants to buy the card again. And the player to your left says that they don't want it. They are allowed to buy again, using their second buy of the three. And they have to take another penalty card. Now it is the turn of the player to your left. They are picking up a card and determining if they want it. They can go down so they are putting down their two sets of three. Pick up a card and realize that you can play and go out. Congratulations, you have scored zero points. You have just given somebody five points, another player 10, 
and the last player 15 points. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more games. And as usual, while you're in the waiting room, why don't you try reading my book, Chasing the Fallen Angel. So until I see you next time, play safely. And that's what the doctor ordered.